Hello, my name is Alison from Tonic Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Christmas bauble. The die comes in four parts. We've got the decorative centre, the plain centre that will cut out the middle of your die, the decorative outer part and the centre of your die which allows you to hang the bauble. Just going to cut the centre of the die first. Depending on how strong you want the bauble, you could cut multiple layers of the middle. I'm just going to show cut one for practice today. There's our die ready popped out. This die has multiple cuts already into the die, which allows you to push to push the little areas backwards and forwards, which gives you a 3D effect. If you push one side backwards, one side forwards, and they're really decorative then. There we are. They look lovely spinning on the tree. Done, that's it. So there we've got our multiple effects that will spin. Added to that, we can have an outside piece. Here's one I've already cut that would attach to the outside part of the die. So it'll sit like that. I'm going to cut another one that will go on the back of the die. Just take that one out of the way. This is the outer piece part. I'm just going to stick my die down. Today I'm using the ground calibre. So I'm placing it towards the edge of my plate. Take the die forwards and backwards. Just going to take the tape off. And there's our die, ready cut, with all the little pieces popped out. To add this to the bauble we've already made, I need to cut out the central piece so the other layers can go forwards and backwards. So I'm going to use the plain star centre. Just place it centrally onto the, your card. A little bit of tape to hold it in place. And that's ready to go. So again, I'm going to pop it to the outside of my plate. Just clear off any little bits off the base plate. There we go. Right, this is cut out the middle now. just use two of these little shapes back to back with a piece of ribbon on the top. Let me just get them right. And that could be one of your bulbs on your tree. Just pop it there. But I am going to pop it on the middle piece. So it's a little bit of glue. If you look on the die, there is one larger hole which needs to go towards the top of the die. This makes it easier to put the ribbon through. So I've got a little bit of our funky glue pen here. I'm just going to dot it around the outside just to stick to the central part. There we are. Just 
just take a little bit off because I don't like to see the glue come in through and line it up with your die. So we've got the large part of the die to the top and that should line up with the hole. Just lining up all the little arms of the star. There we are. And I'm going to do the same on the back. So we've got the, the other side. Little bit of glue again, all around the edge in. Just going to dab a little bit off. And making sure I've got the large hole to the top of the star again. And I'm lining up all the other arms of the star. If you do have a little bit, this is a one-sided gold card. So if you do have a little bit of cream showing through, you could colour it with a marker pen or a little bit of ink. There we are, that's pretty much matched up well. And then we can bring the sides of the stars out. We'll put a little ribbon in the top. And that will look very attractive on our tree. That's all I've done is fold the ribbon in half. Thread the two ends together through the large hole. So you've got a loop. Push the loose ends through. There's our bauble. That's all we need to do. Tie a knot in the top and it's ready to hang on the tree. These are fabulous to make with children, for brownie groups, or to keep your children happy. Happy crafting!